Now we look at the configuration of Microsoft Intune for compliance for the solution. If you want to register devices to Microsoft Azure and to Microsoft Intune, best is that you get familiar with the online documentation of Microsoft published here on the link. I registered in my lab first the devices to Microsoft Azure and when I first registered the devices to Microsoft Azure, this field here, MDM, was still not filled and only after I registered them to Intune, it was filled and listed as Intune. And then if you look at the Microsoft Intune user interface, you see a device, you see it listed per operating system and you see that it's compliant or not compliant, depending on the state. The compliance policy that I configured is pretty easy and straightforward. I just said firewall, antivirus and defender needs to be installed and active. And if one of these is not the case, the device will be non-compliant immediately. Note that the Microsoft Intune compliance management system has some latency inherit. So in case you stop the firewall on the computer, it takes a while, a short while, before the Microsoft compliance management system recognizes that this is no longer compliant and the state is changing. However, as soon as the device is no longer compliant, VPN connections can no longer be established. So when we establish a VPN connection, we check the compliance state against Microsoft Intune and only if the device is compliant, Microsoft Azure will issue us a SAML token and then the connection will be valid.